Hi, everybody. This is Kimberly. As you know, I have the Red Booth Show, and I decided to come up to the Sundance Film Festival this year, which is my first time. It's been a lot of fun. I've been getting to know all the different venues and all the movies that are playing, and we've also been meeting some amazing people and doing interviews. I've been, spent a lot of time at the Studio Lounge, which is this awesome giant space for movie production that just got built up here. And also I've been spending time at the Harley Davidson shop on Main Street, and they've even given me these amazing clothes, and we're also throwing a party on Monday night in honor of the Red Booth Show, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Anyways, stay tuned for more clips from the Red Booth Show. website ready to take on 2016? If not, we can help. We're WebsiteDesigners.com. And if you need help getting noticed this holiday season, we can help. WebsiteDesigners.com makes beautiful websites, landing pages, logos, and everything else that will get eyes on your business. No matter what your online branding needs are, we have you covered. So make 2016 your best year yet with fresh, affordable, yet professional web design work from WebsiteDesigners.com. I really wanted to put a deck on my house. The floor was creaking and there were cracks in the wall. I had them put in walls in my basement. Well, the whole thing was done on time, on budget, and not a day of work was missed. Alpha Structural is a top-rate company. I'd recommend them to anybody. If you live in a hillside home and gravity is pulling you towards the edge of the cliff, I recommend you call Alpha. It was a real pleasure to work with Alpha. It's a great practice, and the reason for that is the people. I'm very into service and making sure that people are happy with what they receive because there's so many choices in dentistry. We try to practice the golden rule dentistry, which basically means that we treat every patient as if we were the actual patient ourselves. People are nervous to come to the dentist. There's pain involved, and they probably had a bad experience. My staff and myself are very passionate about people, and we love taking care of people and changing their mindset about oral health and maintaining that healthiness. Hello, here we are at Park City, Utah for the Sundance Film Festival, and I'm here with Jennifer Cerrone. How are you, Jennifer? I'm doing so good. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, so we've been here at Sundance Film Festival, and we've been going to all the studio lounges, doing some panels, looking at the different venues. There's like high energy here and people all around the world to enjoy Sundance, and so it's just been, it's been a wonderful year so far. So yeah, thanks, Kimberly. Yeah, definitely. I think it would be great to let our audience know a bit more about you. You've done so many things. I know that you started off as a model, obviously. She's gorgeous. And um, you were in, in television broadcasting. And, and so, yes, tell us a little bit about you. Okay, so I have an identical twin sister. So my twin and I, we ventured into modeling when we were teenagers. And um, honestly, my mother wanted us to focus on academics and athletics. And so we were varsity athletes and scholars and on honor roll and all that. So we didn't do much of the modeling when we were teenagers or um, in our 20s. We had our families. And then we got, in, and got married and had both. we had two children. And then we got into our modeling more so in our mid-20s, which actually turned out to be just as phenomenal. And so the modeling we did for... I just have to say that's amazing because so many models start really, really young and they don't really know how to deal so much with that business. So I think that's fantastic that you yeah. did it that way. You know, actually it was phenomenal and I think everything was synchronized as it should be. At a young age, you are... Um, Capable, you are potentially vulnerable to the pressures of the environment of being a model or being in the TV industry or someone thinking you're a celebrity, right? And all of the pressure that you might feel to um, the substance that's around you, you know, and, and when you're younger, you have to have the firm root and a firm foundation. So everything was synchronized and I'm happy that we went into we got our degrees and our bachelors and we started with our families and we're firmly rooted in that and with that we're not just a face but we represent our companies that we model for so like superbly in the sense that we recognize the mission statement and you're a, you're a voice for them as well and so then they like to have us travel around the world so you know I'll go for different doctor's office, dentist's office, and just hair and makeup products or whatever whatever you want, like fur coats. It's just phenomenal. So many, many um, opportunities that we've been blessed with because we have the content and the knowledge and the background to articulate and to present it to the public eye, and you're not just a face. 
and you can vocalize the product as well. So we ventured into the modeling, and I did a lot of that all around the States. And then, to my surprise, I ventured into pageantry, which I didn't plan on it, but I, um, I ended up winning. And this was as a married woman after I had my two children. And yeah. <laughs> I just have to say, I was married for almost 15 years. I have children too, and I, and I also started very early starting a family. So yeah. I'm now just doing all of my entertainment career too, and I just think that's fantastic to yeah. help inspire other people that you can definitely do it that way. So... You know, you can, and there's so many products out there that can keep your skin young and youthful and vibrant, and, but I honestly, I'm so grateful I had my children young because I know I would have gotten caught up in a social light atmosphere going to one event after the next, and before you know it, I wouldn't have had time to have my little babies. Like, I'm so grateful I had them when I did. And so now I've traveled the world, and my children, I take them to nonprofit events with me. I immerse them in culture and doing these good deeds around the world. Um, for example, Builders Without Borders, where we went to go build homes in Tijuana, Mexico, and it was a completely, where we were, it was very safe. We made sure we are safe. We were with a group of 100 people. And so I am very keen on giving back. So when I do my mentoring, because now I focus on mentoring women, and... That's also amazing. It, it, well, it's excellent because you do want to help create that legacy for other people because you have that great legacy um, and then you can share that with other people that they can create that legacy as well. And so with the pageantry, I did win a state title, a regional title, and a country title for the USA. And That's amazing, of course. Well, you are just stunning and you're obviously, it's more than just the beauty of your, the way you look, it's also your personality and everything that you do. And so that's really, really, really cool. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. And, you know, it's just, it, I think representation is key and trying to uphold your motto or your stand, your standard in a sense because that's going to lead you in one direction, another direction. And to me, I'm, I'm big on karma and giving back, like I said. And so when I was going with the fact that I brought my children, I would like to teach that to my children. So hopefully they can learn that the, the foundational principles of life is compassion and love and, and that intelligence as well. It's not just looking good. Looking good is fun. Taking care of yourself is fun. But now I'm a teacher as well. So I did my broadcasting career, my modeling and the pageantry and mentoring. And as a mother, I teach my children and I teach in the classroom and I teach at-risk teens. And they are I like, I'm falling more and more in love with you right now. You're, you're amazing. I swear all these things that you're talking about, like I have teenagers in my life as well. My children are teenagers. I've seen a lot of the issues that they deal with. So, you know, obviously, and women, I'd love to help be uh, a voice for women. Um, so I just really cool guys. You need to definitely go and check her out and get involved with her. Go and check out her website. Would you like to do some shout outs where people can find you online? Yeah, for sure. So, uh, is Jennifer That's my website. And then I also do Facebook and so you can find me on there as well. Um, and I don't do Twitter or Instagram. I just don't have time for everything. So multi <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, just multitasking and being this multidimensional person. Um, maybe I'll sign my daughter up so she can learn how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she'd be able to do that easily. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you know what? I take a lot of pride and joy in my family. And so my, my daughter is 13 and my son is 11. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I have 14 year olds as well. So I have the state title and a regional title and then a country title. And so representing the U.S. was such a blessing. So as Mrs. of the USA, so um, we went to Latvia, and that was our international competition in Latvia. So are you, were you a Miss America? It was Mrs. USA. Okay, so, Mrs. USA. Uh, That's amazing. Yeah, for the Mrs. Universe system. And so we ventured to Latvia, and there were just phenomenal women from around the world. And, and these were married women. So what is so substantial is that people think, okay, once you have children and you get married, that you can't venture into these type of opportunities, but you can. And so there's many analogies out there that I like to um, compare to. And there's one like it, the well is empty, then how can a woman give back? So for example, the, you got to put more water in that well. And so I ventured and did the pageantry and there's nonprofits affiliated with it that I was able to give back. 
Yeah. That is amazing. I say go moms. Moms <laughs> moms totally rock and you can totally go out there and and achieve your goals even if you have children and I think actually people with children are even more grounded and um have a special perspective on life in general anyway. So and I can't believe I'm sitting here next to a Mrs. USA uh universe pageant winner. So that's really exciting. Well, thank you. Yeah, and just with that, um, you represent a lot of the women around the world. Well, especially here in the United States. And then going internationally, like I said, these phenomenal women that are representing a good cause, they're professional businesswomen. Most of them were mothers and wives. And here they were representing their country. And I tell you, there is nothing more beautiful. I mean, but this... Well, there, there is probably, but there, this is one of the most beautiful sights is to see a woman carrying their country's flag and then being on stage with all these women. You see, you see France and you see England, you see Italy, you see America and all these amazing flags and these powerhouse women that are confident and caring and they give back and they're, they're more than just a face. And so when, when it comes to pageantry and you see this negative um, exposure and publicity, they're showing like the 1%. And overall, it's a very dynamic industry of heart-centered people that I'm just grateful that I have my Globe sisters. So I also ventured into the Mrs. Globe system and then the Miss Universe system as well. So, and I call them my Globe sisters around the world. That is great insight into that. And I was just wondering, what if uh, somebody out there wants to try to get into that? What would you say would be a good way to get started? Well, so I have mentored people. So for example, um, I've mentored Miss Lithuania, Miss Finland, Miss Jamaica, um, Miss Utah, and a couple, you know, a few other people as well. But with that, to get started, it begins inside. And so there's this um, inner centeredness of being aware of who you are and being confident in you. In, who you are and rocking it. You just got to rock who you are yeah. and be happy and own it. And nowadays, what I've noticed is what you bring to the table in pageantry or being a model or being an actor or an actress. You don't, if someone has to mold you, that's not authentic. I like the raw, authentic character in these women and, or actors, the people that I meet around the world that is um, genuine. That's what's going to take you somewhere. So just start on that right now, figuring out who you are. Remember to have that poise and that composure and to know that your presence is your power. Don't honker down to anything. Yeah, don't. Yeah. I like that. That is that is all about, my show is all about that. That's, I love it. love that message. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. It's that your presence is your power. You are the great I am. You can accomplish things. You have dreams and visions and goals and surround yourself with positive people that are going to uplift you and encourage you and inspire you mm -hmm. and if there's any negative connotations or people with any of that negative energy it, life is too short to waste amen yeah, amen sure, sister right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah like don't waste your time with those like uh what are they called debbie downers just keep on walking yeah, yeah. definitely <laughs> i think um you know anytime you're getting into some sort of uh a big sort of a game like this um you you're gonna have people who are gonna probably have their criticisms and their doubts and they're gonna tell you and i just think it's so, so important to just not listen to any of that right oh yeah for sure so um i was raised in a small town in long beach washington it's the peninsula of washington state so in the middle of high school we um I went to a, we lived in one area in Washington State on the Puget Sound, and that was phenomenal. But we, my family, my twin sister and I, went to go live with our grandparents. And this was a small town, and the story is leading up to an analogy that um, it was a fishing town, right? It was the uh, Washington State, right on the peninsula, lots of clams and oysters and crabs. And so that being said, our school high school mascot was the fisherman, but we had this analogy of the crabs, like in a crab pot. If one tries to get out of the crab pot, if there's only one in that crab pot, it'll get out, right? Okay, that, so that's your dream, that's your vision, that's your goal. Mm. You're gonna get out, you're gonna do it. But if there's like other crabs in that little crab pot, these other crabs are gonna take the crab down and bring them down with them and they won't let them out. They pinch them and pinch them. Is, is that really what happens? Yes, it's totally what happens. So what I'm saying is, 
You can't let other people bring you down. It doesn't matter if you're from a small town, a big town. It doesn't matter if you've, you've got this dream or something that you're envisioning for yourself and nobody gets it. You just go with it because you've got those promptings. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps over here. Yeah. It's so such a good analogy. I love that. I know. Well, being raised in a fishing town that's truly authentic, like, I love that analogy too. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, thank you so much. And I think that, you know, if anybody does want to start getting into these areas, then they can always try to contact you and find out about mentoring or how they can even yeah. try to get started. Um, you know, so thank you for being such an amazing, powerful woman. And I really am so happy that you did this interview. Thanks for being here today. You're so welcome, Kimberly. I'm happy you're here at Sundance. So enjoy your experience and embrace it. And I encourage everyone, like at least once in their lifetime, to come up here in the beautiful mountains in Park City, Utah and enjoy the ambience of Sundance. It's like a creative vortex of Amazing. energy and like visionaries that I just embrace every year and it's tradition for me to come up here and embrace the snow and the energy. So yeah, come to Sundance. <laughs> Definitely lots of creative vibes and amazing people here. So thanks again for being here. Hi, this is Kimberly with the Red Booth Show at the Sundance Film Festival. We are here at the New Frontier Lounge, the 10th anniversary, and they are actually uh, showcasing some virtual reality booths here where you can come and experience and immerse yourself in this new media. So this is actually starting to be a pretty common thread throughout the, th the Sundance Festival, and I think you guys will enjoy it. So we're gonna give you a little bit of a taste of it here. Check it out. Hi, this is Kimberly Quigley with the Red Booth Show, and we are here at the Sundance Film Festival with the amazing singer Pepina. How's it going, Pepina? It's going great, thank you. Thanks so much, and I know you're about to do a performance here at uh, the Art Lounge. I think, what, is it, what is this place called? Uh, the Art Lounge, yeah, it is. I'm, I'm really excited about performing here. It's gonna be like an intimate acoustic solo set, so those are always fun. That's amazing. Now, I just thought, you know, it's a really interesting thing to get invited to come and perform at the Sundance Festival, right? Like, that doesn't happen to everybody. Um, how did this happen? How did you guys get up here? Oh, my God. This is actually my third time at Sundance. Wow. So, the first time was two years ago. I was performing at the Hit Record on TV premiere show uh, together with Charlotte Brown Levitt. I met my manager there and then things just took off. I came back here one year later to perform at my manager's New York Lounge. I met Maury Levovich who just signed me on his record label, Honey Rose Record, and now I'm performing here again. So it's, I mean, Sundance means so much to me. I, I made my best connections here, it's crazy. That is fantastic. What a great story. Well, I can't wait to see you sing on stage and um, I hope everybody goes and checks you out online. Where can they find you? Where can they find you online? Uh, well, my website is Pepina Music and I'm Pepina Music everywhere online. So make sure to check it out. Hi, this is Kimberly with the Red Booth Show, and we are here at the Sundance Film Festival with one of the actresses from one of the very mysterious movies called The Lure. This is Mikolina Olshanska. Uh, hi, hi everybody. Um, as you told, I, I'm one of the mermaids because the movie is about mermaid. So actually I'm half of our sisterhood because there are two of us. Yeah, and the movie is about two mermaids who just enter a human's world, they become stars of a nightclub and trying to find themselves in you know, totally different and new place. Yeah, so this is the story. And, and to be honest, this is a metaphor of growing up girl, so yeah, well, that's it. So I know that everybody that is part of this film project is from Poland, right? 
Yeah, it's totally a Polish project. So we are so excited to be here. Uh, it's our first time in the United States. So I think um, Salt Lake City is the best place to start this adventure. <laughs> it's definitely beautiful up here. And it's so exciting that you're here at Sundance. Um, is this your first feature film? Uh, no, it's not actually, uh, which is funny. We played with with my sister, like Marta Mazurek, in two other movies together. Yeah, so we play like lovers, um, roommates, and now sisters. It's a long story behind us. And the funny thing is that in the, um, uh, there is a line in the in the movie. Um, I say to my sister, "Okay, let's have fun in Poland and swim to America." So we just did, right? <laughs> That's right, the mermaids have arrived here. And <laughs> so she's also the sister mermaid, right? Yeah. yeah, she's a sister mermaid and she's the one who falls in love with a man. Uh, and we are not like Disney mermaids. We are not cute, we are quite ugly, honestly. Uh, really? We are monsters, yeah, we eat people. <gasps> oh Men's heart, yeah. Wow. So everyone here says that we are like vampire mermaids. Well. I don't like vampire topic, but it's, you know, it describes well the movie. So would you say this is kind of a horror film? Yeah, it's horror and a musical also. A gore, you know, like mix of everything. Uh, so we sing because we are underwater creatures, so we communicate by singing. <laughs> it's, it's really, really crazy. And what else can I say? Actually, um, the script of the movie is based on a real story because uh, in the 80s in Poland we had such things like dancing nightclubs uh, where people were able to have fun and, and so on and the whole story is, is, um, is there. <laughs> so it's all set in Poland around the nightclubs and the mermaids come out. Now, do your legs, do you have human legs or do you, do you switch back and forth? Yeah, we have tails, like very long, very ugly. We look like dragons more than mermaids. Um, of course, when we get dry, we have legs. But the point is that when we have legs, we have no... those parts. Oh. So when uh, one of the mermaids falls in love with a human, she wants to cut off her tail and have a real legs with real places. So that's the point, because when she cuts off her tail, she loses her voice. And that's the problem. And I'm the one who's jealous, and I want my sister to be only for, for me, and she, she has to, to pick if she wants to be a human or stay with her sister. So that's, that's the problem. <laughs> wow, that's a really cool story. I can't wait for everybody to see it. Do you know if, uh, where it's going to be released after this? Um, the movie uh, had its premiere in Poland, but this audience is actually the first international audience. So this is really a fantastic time for us. But then, I don't know, it depends on producers and distributors in Poland. It's a it's tough thing, actually. And is the movie all in Polish with subtitles? Yeah, it is in subtitles. Uh, the songs are great translated, uh, which we were actually uh, scared about because it's difficult to, to translate songs and poems. But um, the translator hit it really very well, so I think it's, it's well done. How exciting! I'm so excited! I get to meet one of the mermaids from the lure. And um, can you sing us a quick little piece of one of the songs? Yeah, sure. You know, um, it's difficult to song with my sister, but I'll try okay. to represent us both. Wyciągnijcie nas, nie bójcie się, przecież was nie zjemy, wyjemy, wyjemy, wyjemy. Wyciągnijcie nas, Nie bójcie się, przecież was nie zjemy. Wyjemy, wyjemy, wyjemy. Yeah. Oh, this is so great. I'm so happy that we got to hear you do that because that's like, you know, when do you, do you ever perform live as well as a singer or just as an actress? No, no, just as an actress. I graduated from actors school, but I play the violin, so music was around me like for all my life. <laughs> That's amazing. You have a beautiful voice and you are beautiful. And thank you so much for doing this show. So 
I wish you the best with the with the movie getting released and for everybody to go out and go see the movie. Yeah, thank you so much. It was great to meet you. And you. <laughs> <laughs> great to meet you too. Hi everybody, we're here at the Sundance Film Festival at the Studio Lounge with actor-performer Lee Liston. How's it going? Good, good. So I know you've done a lot of work on like YouTube and you have some really cool videos. Why don't you tell, tell everybody a bit about it? Well, I do a lot of within the YouTube community. We did like a Disney Shake It Off. And then that, that just kind of launched everything and I started networking out from there. And kind of met the whole YouTube community like Stuart Edge, Keith Allen, and all these people that are really focused on the... Scott Wynn is another good example of that. So I'm just meeting all these people and it's just networked and now I kind of want to get into film. That's fantastic. And also, didn't you do some music video recently as well? Well, I'm working on the music video. I wrote a song for Taylor Swift. I got it produced. I wrote it like five years ago. Long story. But anyway, we got it produced. That's amazing. We're, so we're going to shoot a music video, hopefully, for it to get her to come and be. I work with the Mascot Miracles Foundation, all the college mascots of Utah. And we want to get her to come and be a date of one of the kids. So I just, I'm involved. I have my hands in a lot of cookie jars. Nice. You know, and I just have to pick what cookies I really want to eat, if that makes sense. That's cool. That's what you got to do. Do you have advice for people that want to get, you know, more YouTube uh, videos out there? You know, just anything in general, it's who you know. It's really like who likes you and who, who you know, because that combination is what, what builds success. It's, you know, that's a big, that's a word that's used big time in, in this industry, but it's all about who you know. So who gets, who you get along with basically, right? Exactly. I mean, if, if you don't get along with someone in, in, in the Utah community, odds are they won't work with you. It's different than like LA where they're just paying you and it's all about money. But here it's who really likes you and likes to work with you. That's cool. I like that idea. <laughs> well, um, also, I know you did a really funny Doritos commercial, and how did you come up with that? So I went to a filmmaker's experience. Danny Daniel Thompson, who runs Indie Lounge, had that idea forever, and he just like you. You know, I was just running around doing this, you know, in the studio lounge kind of a thing, and he's like, I want you to be it, and he pitched the idea to me. I loved it, and I thought it was fun, and I thought it turned out really good. Yeah, it looks really great. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you doing the show, and have fun at the rest of Sundance. Of course. Well, we'll just keep networking then. All right, cool. Hi, thanks for watching this special episode of the Red Booth Show at the Sundance Film Festival. We wanted to say thank you very much to Melina Hope for coming up and doing makeup for most of the festival, and also to Kirsten Stovala for coming over for doing hair, and to Lita of the Hotties for doing makeup. Thank you to Pin Up Girl Clothing for the amazing outfits that we wore at the Sundance Film Festival on the Red Booth Show. I just wanted to say thank you to the Harley Davidson Shop in Park City for hosting us here during the Sundance Film Festival. This special episode of the Red Booth Show at the Sundance Film Festival was brought to you by Nourishment Organic Healing Foods. Mm -hmm.